All right, welcome back to Zedwin for chapter three or part three of how to add products into Shopify. This part three is going to talk about how to add the collections into the main menu how, so that it shows up on your website on the front end. Okay, so more specifically for this example, let's take a look at the front end for this particular client. Okay, Bomb Bomb Boutique. All right, and how to, so if we created our collections, how do we do it so that the products are inside of what's already built, which happens with most of my clients. I have this built for them. They want to add more to the, to the collection that's already built, or they're like, Hey Ed, I want to add another one called, um, I don't know, uh, hats or something. Uh, it's just something else. They want to create more or underneath where it says girls right here. They want to add more drop downs. So that's what we're going to talk about this whole main menu navigation system. Okay, so what we're going to do is remember how we did products, how we did collections. If you haven't seen those videos, please go back into part one, part two, so you can see how I added all of this stuff. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna click on where it says online store. And on online store, we're gonna click where it says navigation on the left. And this is something that when I hand over projects to my clients, they're gonna see this stuff. It's very intimidating. Um, if you don't know what you're doing here, please take this video as a reference, okay? All right, so the way that this works is first, there is a main menu, the Papa menu, highest level menu, and that's this. This is the main menu. And then sometimes there's menus that have drop downs. This, these two are menus, but it's a sub menu. So these sub menus belong to this main menu and this main menu has no sub menus. There are no sub menus and these are just pages. So that it has nothing even to do with product itself, except for this one. This is also a collection, but it has no sub menu. Okay. So the way that this works is, is that if I click on women's, it's going to show all of the products that are underneath all of them. It's gonna show anything that's dresses, tops, jumpsuits, bottoms, accessories, it's gonna show them all. It's gonna show everything in, in pages, okay? But a submenu is like if we're filtering this whole thing, you click on where it says dresses and now it's just showing all dresses. Now if you click on tops, it's gonna to show only those that have tops, okay? So that's, I want to make sure you guys understand that lingo. Main menu, sub menu. Let's go back over here. This is the main menu. So let's say if you wanted to add something else or you wanted to get rid of this, what you're going to do is go in here and alter the main menu. You don't mess with any of this stuff. Click here. And this is what this is. Okay. So right here. If you want to get rid of this one, you go to this icon right here where it says delete and it takes it out. If you want it so that, oh, I don't like how plus size is over here. I want to put plus size right next to women's. Okay. Then you're going to grab this. Boom. Right there. Save. Okay. And then over here, you're going to notice we're going to press refresh. I always like to have two tabs open so I can see the changes that I do. And there it is, plus size. Okay, so I'm gonna revert it back to my client because that's the way she wanted it. She's gonna get mad at me. Okay, all right. So, if let's say you want it, we, we created a new collection, but it's gonna fall underneath um, plus size. Okay, it's gonna fall underneath plus size. We got to then create another menu for plus size, which is sub menus. It already exists here. And what this is saying is plus size is a collection. Which collection? Plus size. All right. Let's go back to where it says uh, navigation. And as you can see here, there is no such sub menu called plus size. We got to create one. So we're going to add a menu. We're going to call this plus size. It has to be spelled the same exact way as how you see it or how it was over there. How, let me cancel this. You have to spell it the same way 
as how you see it right here. So let me triple click this. Let me press copy so that I could grab over the scene. Because if you do one misspell or uh, one letter is bigger than the other, stuff like that, it's not going to work. Add menu right here. Paste. And then we're going to add two menus. See where I click this button right here? I add a menu. Okay. And on this one, I like to work backwards on this. Before I even write anything here, I'm going to click right here and I'm going to say collection, collection. Because that's what these are. We're adding the collections into these menus. And let's click over here to those sample collections that we were talking about. Sample condition. And then right here, sample manual. Okay. Sample condition. Sample manual. Okay. Just like how it's spelled here, I spelled it the same way here. I'm going to click save. Now look what's going to happen. If I go back to the website and I press refresh, plus size now has a drop down with the sub menus. And if I click on it, there it is. You see? So that's why I told you we first have to create the products, then we have to create the collection, and now we're creating the menus so that everything works. If I click on plus size alone, everything related to plus size, um, which is not configured. But over here, they're configured. Boom and boom. Okay. So let's delete this because my customer doesn't want this. All right. Okay, now, that, but, and then you say, well, Edwin, how about we want to add another sub menu to something that already exists? We have one that already exists. We just add, want to add one more. Okay, that's easy. Let's click on this. All right. And you're going to create one more. Add menu item. Boom. And this one, sample condition. What is this? This is a collection. Which collection? Sample conditions collection. Save. Let's go back into our website. Remember, two tabs. Very good to have them open. Refresh. There it is. It's working. There you have it, folks. That's how it is beginning to end. This is not easy for many. Trust me. That's why I wanted to create this tutorial. I really, 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 really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys do not understand still, you guys still need help. Or if you think that all of this stuff is very redundant work because, you know, it's, it's not that it's difficult. It's just that it's time consuming, right? It's very easy, as you can see, but you got to have the time to do it. If you don't have time, it's okay. Here's plan B. All these instructions that I'm showing you, hire an intern, get an assistant, show them these videos, see if they can do them for you. Otherwise... You can contact us, right? When I think of us, we're, we're plan Z, right? If you're like, no, I'd rather keep everything in-house. He made my website. Let me just give it to Resolutions Design. Support at resolutionsdesign.com. We'll do the work for you. All right? Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you subscribe, press a like, give me a nice comment. I don't know, whatever you want. <laughs> and more videos to come soon, okay? Cheers.